A North Texas teacher's aide is caught on a school camera assaulting an eight year old student. But it's what Richardson ISD did not do that had the boy's mother reaching out to our I team and investigative reporter Brian New. As a result of our reporting here on CBS News Texas and the I team, the school district now making some changes. And we do want to warn you, you might find some of this video hard to watch. As students waited for the afternoon bus to arrive at Aiken Elementary School in Dallas, a cafeteria camera captured an interaction between this teacher's aide, who works in the special education department, and this eight-year-old student who's in second grade. The video has no sound, but shows the boy's reaction after being told by the aide to go sit down. The boy, who's enrolled in the school's special education program, then sits at the end of the lunch table in silence. Nearly a minute goes by before he stands back up. This next part may be hard to watch. The boy's mother wants people to see this. According to the police report, the teacher's aide was upset because the boy was using profane language and yelling out racial slurs towards her. When Brittany Wood finally saw the video of her son, I did not expect to see what I saw. She says it was heartbreaking. It was really, really hard to watch because my child was completely helpless. The day after the assault, a student informed the principal of what happened. The principal then called the boy's mother. When the Richardson ISD Human Resource Department went to talk to the teacher's aide, the school district says she immediately resigned. I just don't want anyone else to be at risk and I really want her to face the music for what she's done. The Richardson School District told us the principal reported the incident to Child Protective Services and made the Dallas Police School resource officer assigned to the campus aware of the incident. But it's who the school district did not tell until we began asking questions the child advocates say is troubling. According to Texas law, when a school employee resigns and there's evidence that the employee abused a student, the superintendent must notify the commissioner of the Texas Education Agency no later than the seventh business day after the resignation. That way, the state's education department can investigate and put the employee on its do not hire registry if needed. But Richardson ISD did not report the teacher's aid to the TEA within seven days. The school district did not report it after there was a police report either, or after she was charged with misdemeanor assault, or after she pled no contest. In fact, Richardson ISD did not report the October incident to the TEA until just about a month ago, the day after we reached out to the district. A school spokesperson told us the central office was unaware of the police investigation and that the district determined, based upon what Child Protected Services had told them, that the teacher's aide's actions did not rise to the level of abuse or assault. And that is why the district told us it did not report it to the state. Any suspicion of abuse, anytime there is an inappropriate restraint that injures a child, it should be reported. Kim Rogers with Disability Rights Texas says state education records show an increase in recent years of teachers and school workers assaulting students. She says the only way to change this is to hold these employees in schools accountable. One of the ways we have to address that is through the reporting of this to both CPS and TEA, and it's only through that that we can have accountability. This is their neighborhood. When Wood first went to see the principal after the assault, she was told she couldn't see the video of her own son. She would need to file an open records request. It was months before she first saw the video. The principal also refused to tell her the name of the teacher's aide, saying it was confidential. But there's something else that bothers his mother even more. He was literally standing there screaming, asking for help, and nobody came except for another student who gave him a hug. After the assault, minutes go by with no adult checking on the eight-year-old boy until this special education teacher, who the district says did not witness the assault, briefly stops. The district says the boy did not tell her what happened. Moments later, with his head still down, the teacher's aide grabs her bags and leaves for the day. I want the school to be held accountable for what they allowed to happen and what they didn't do afterwards. 
so we were able to reach the former school aide at her home. Through her door, she told us she had nothing to say. Meanwhile, Child Protective Services told us it could not comment on its investigation or what its investigators told school officials. Nicole, as for the Texas Education Agency, its investigation is still ongoing. Brian, there's so many layers and, and emotions buried in this story. We saw the movement that happened once you started digging, and that was finally reported from Richardson to the TEA. But can you tell us, you know, what happened from your investigation? Is Richardson ISD now making any notable changes? They are. So Richardson ISD told us that they are making three changes as a result of this incident. One, they are retraining all campus administrators on their reporting duties when it comes to incidences involving law enforcement. Two, they are reminding campus administrators to consult with the HR department whenever a parent comes to them with a question about a school employee. The district says the principal here made a mistake in not telling the mother the name of that teacher's aide. And finally, and perhaps this is the most significant change, the school district says moving forward, they're going to err on the side of over reporting these types of incidents to the state when it may not be clear whether it meets that abuse criteria. All right, journalism that matters. Brian New and the I team, thank you so much.